Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number six in my MySQL series. And in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the and and the or clauses in MySQL. So uh, if you guys haven't watched the previous tutorial on where clauses, you need to go back and watch that because uh, yeah, we make use of the where clause in this tutorial as well. Um, and uh, yeah, basically what the and and the or clauses allow us to do is add some extra filters to our query. So we basically get to add a little bit more search power to our query, All right? So uh, to start this tutorial off, um, it's probably gonna be a lot easier if you just familiarize yourself with the addresses table. So uh, we have a couple of fields in this addresses table. So we've got address ID, user ID, address lines one, two, three, uh, city, state, underscore province or zip. Um, so these are the columns and if you want to browse the table, you can see that we've got a couple results in here. Um, and uh, yeah, now that you've seen that, let's go back to the SQL tab and actually start writing some SQL, right? So uh, I all, you guys should already know that if we want to search, through some, search for something in our database, we can run a select query. So let's uh, select and let's select everything from, and in this case, I wanna make use of the addresses table, but I don't wanna select everything from the addresses table because that's kind of boring. So let's add in a filter over here and I'm going to add in a where clause, which you should have learned about in the previous video. Um, but let's filter by the state or the province. So let's say where the state or province, state underscore province, uh, in these addresses is equal to Western Cape. Uh, and you guys should know from the previous tutorial that this is just going to return some results of whoever lives in the Western Cape. But let's hit go uh, just so we can see the results. And you can see that there are two people who happen to live in the Western Cape. Um, and I'm thinking that this is way too many results. Uh, what happens if I want to narrow down the amount of results that I'm getting uh, by adding in an extra filter? Well, that's where the AND clause comes in handy. So let's go back to the SQL tab over here and put that exact same query in. Fortunately, I copied and pasted it. And uh, yeah, what I'd like to do now is add in an AND clause. And what this AND clause allows us to do is add in a second filter. So we get to add in a second one of these things, basically a second rule that has to be met in order for our query to be true. And uh, yeah, if that rule is met, maybe we'll get to narrow down some results in our search query. Uh, so uh, instead of filtering by state or province, which we've already done. Let's now search by city. And I want to find out who lives in Cape Town and also has a province uh, set to uh, the Western Cape, right? So uh, let me just copy that and hit go. And uh, yeah, you can see we now have narrowed down our search results. So instead of having two search results, we've only got one search result. There's only one person who happens to live in Cape Town in the Western Cape. Um, so the AND clause allows us to get really, really specific uh, about our, who, who we're searching for by just adding in an extra field. And the great thing about this is you can use as many AND clauses as you want. So um, let's go back here, but uh, let's clear out some of these um, uh, fields. Let's search through our database for everyone who lives in California. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna hit go and see what happens, All right? Okay, so we have um, two results over here. Uh, these guys both happen to live in the province of California. So if I run my query again, but add in an and clause, so let's say and, um, and add in a value over here. So uh, this previous query that we did was where the city is equal to something. So let's search and see who lives in uh, South Park City, All right? Let's copy that and hit go. And you can see we've got two results again. It's the same two guys, 
Uh, I'm really not knocking anything out by filtering by the city as well. So let's see, what other uh, field could I search by? Well, I can search by the address line one. So let's copy and paste that same query back in here. And I'm gonna add in a third field. So I'm just gonna hit and or type in and, and where uh, address underscore line underscore one happens to be equal to something. And I know, let's just say at this point, I know the specific address of the person I'm searching for. I can add that in as a third uh, filter. And uh, now we have three filters. So we've got where the province is equal to California and where the city is equal to South Park and where the address line one is equal to 28201 E Bonanza Street, which I think happens to be uh, Kenny's address in South Park. And let's hit go. And there we go. We only have one person returned in our query. So yeah, the and clause allows us to get really, 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 really specific by just adding in more and more and clauses. And uh, yeah, if these are true uh, and our query runs, we'll hopefully knock out a few of the unnecessary uh, results. Uh, but yeah, now that we know how to use the AND clause and we know we can just keep adding AND clauses in as much as we like, uh, let's take a look at how to use the OR clause. So uh, yeah, the OR clause works in pretty much the same way. Uh, so I'm gonna write in a, a new query over here and let's select everything from addresses again. And this time, uh, let's add in a WHERE clause for WHERE the uh, state underscore province is equal to, uh, and in this case, let's search for everyone in California again, right? And we all already know what happens if I run this query, uh, but let's hit go. And yeah, you can see we have these two guys from South Park, but sometimes like using the AND clause uh, in this case would only narrow down our results. Sometimes we have the, we, wa we want to have the ability to add more results to our query. So our query is too specific right now. We've only got two results. I wanna maybe add in another query over here. So let's search for anybody who lives in the state or province of California or anybody who happens to live in the state province, state or province state province of the Western Cape. So wherever that is it to Western Cape. And now instead of having two results, I should have four results. So let's hit go. And yeah, there we go. We have four results now. So we've got the guys who live in the Western Cape and we've got the guys who live in California. And uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much how the query, uh, the OR clause works is if you find that you are getting too few results, then you might want to just not be so specific. Um, and you can add in an OR clause and yeah, use that to add in some extra results, uh, which is nice for like a property website, I guess, if you were looking for anybody, like if you were looking for one suburb or another close suburb, doesn't really matter. Anyway, hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you guys now know how to use the AND and the OR clauses in MySQL. Right, so that is the end of the video. And uh, before I end off this video, I just want to send a huge shout out to these guys. So these guys are my patrons who contribute $5 or more every month on Patreon. And uh, yeah, that goes a long way to helping me make more videos more often. So if you like these videos and you wanna see more and you wanna help me make more of them, uh, consider making a small pledge on Patreon. And now that I've given those guys a thank you, uh, there are other ways to help out as well. So subscribing and leaving a comment, liking this video or sharing this video goes a long way as well. So go ahead and uh, leave a comment, like and share this video and I'll see you guys next time.